So tonight we're going to a frat party. Wow, I love parties. I'm the best at partying. No one parties better and harder than me. Yes, of course you are, Donald. When did you last go to a party, Joe? I went to one when my mom was pregnant with me 10 years ago in 1950. She gave birth to me on the keg and I just started dancing. That's cool. Anyway, we need to pick up some alcohol before we head over to the frat house. It will be rude if we turn up empty handed. Let's get ready and head to the liquor store. It's on the way. Sounds good. I'm going to choose something to wear. Right, you lazy, dumb idiot. I need a cheap bottle of wine, so hurry up. I haven't got all day. How cheap are we talking, sir? About as cheap as the clothes you have on my little ombre. Um, we got a lot of different wines, French, Italian, Indian. Now listen to me, you blithering idiot. I don't like foreign things from poor countries, so make it snappy, or I will hop over the counter and help myself, believe me. Come on, Donald, you gotta be a little more open-minded. Oh, I don't think so, Sleepy Joe. I only like American things like McDonald's, mass shootings, and fat people. Okay, sir, we got this Californian red. It's only $2.99. What? $2.99? Nope, no way. There's no way I'm paying that, so get lost. That's the cheapest we have in, sir. Nope, not interested. What a shakedown that is. Anyways, I don't really like things from blue states. Have you got anything from a red state, you son of a bitch? Afraid not all our domestic wine is from California. Ah, uh, what a disgusting hellhole. Ooh, I love red states. What do you like about them, Joe? They all hate Democrats. Inbreeding and heart disease. Anyway, which one of you pricks is gonna get this? I can't afford it because I spent all my money on professionally cleaning my toupee. I'll get the wine, then let's get going to the party. Right, so this is the frat house. This is gonna be a fun night. Yes, it is, Joe. Let me just check you've had your pills and you're wearing a fresh diaper, right? Yes, but hopefully I won't have my diaper on for too long. Oh, do you need to empty your bowels? Nope, I need to take it off because in half an hour I'll be hanging out the back of a hot chick or two. And Donald, you promised to behave. You were very rude to the women at the bar the other night. Hmm, maybe I don't know yet. Howdy, howdy, partners. If it isn't my favorite presidential trio presidents, Biden, Obama, and Trump. Hey, Tommy, thanks for the invite. This looks like an awesome party. Three presidents, huh? That's a lot of presidents. Thanks. Anyway, I have to go and speak to the DJ. Y'all have a good one, and we will have to play beer pong later. Absolutely, thanks, Tommy. Wow, this is very cool. It brings me back to my youth. I'll get us some beers. Sounds good, Obama. Hey, isn't that Eric and Junior there across the room? Hey, Mr. Obama, hey, 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 hey. We meet again. Good to see you boys. What are you doing here? Hey, 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 hey. Awesome, it's always good to have some intelligent conversation with you two. Hey, 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 hey. So what have you been up to, Eric? Not much President Biden just hitting my nuts with a golf club. You've been hitting your nuts with a golf club? Yeah, but it didn't hurt enough, so we started using a baseball bat. And how did that feel? It felt so good, hey, 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 Yeah, my nuts are so bruised right now, hey, hey, hey. And what were you doing that for? I honestly don't know, I'm just a cheeky wee chappy, hey, hey. Oh my God, what are you pair of low IQ individuals doing here? I told you not to be out late tonight because you have soccer practice tomorrow. Yeah, sorry, Dad. Yeah, sorry, Dad, we love you. Shut up and stay away from me, you dirty and sick cretins. You numbskulls really do make me sick. You boys really are a bunch of boneheads, aren't you? Thanks, Mr. Obama. Ah, look who it is. It's Joe Biden. Let's go, Brandon. Uh, it's nice to see my people out and about. How are you doing, boys? I don't think they like you, sleepy creepy Joe. What? why not? He just said, let's go, Biden. He said, let's go, Brandon. But my name's Biden. That's very strange. Oh, excuse me, President Obama. Yes, miss. Could you introduce me to your friend? Oh, hello there, my dear. You noticed me from across the room, and despite your low IQ, you decided to come and speak to me. Oh, no, sorry. It's not like that. What do you mean I don't understand? Come on, spit it out. No, I mean I have a crush on President Biden. Well, you're obviously dumb as a rock if you prefer him over me. You're just not really my type. What, you don't like black guys? I don't like guys who play air accordion. But I'm a stable genius, and that cripple can't walk up a flight of steps without Secret Service holding his hand, believe me. Hey, steady on. I'm not a cripple, OK? I'm sorry. I'm just not interested, President Trump. Well, I didn't like you anyway, so joke's on you, you gutless pig. Sorry about him. What's your name? I'm Brooke. Well, it's very nice to meet you, Brooke. You're not drinking tonight. I can't. Alcohol kills brain cells, and I only have a few left. You're so funny. It's amazing to hang out with you. Older guys are just so much more sophisticated and mature. Well, apart from Donald, he's pretty childish most of the time. Ha, 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 right. Right, Trump, Obama, and Biden. Time for some beer pong. I'm sorry, Brooke. I gotta go. It's okay. Can I get your number? Um, I don't remember it. Well, where do you live? I have no idea. I'll see you. So it's me and Donald against Presidents Biden and Obama. You ready to kick some ass Trump? No one plays beer pong better than me, Tommy. People are saying I'm the best beer pong player. It's true. It's true. Sounds good. Yeah, bring it on. Joe, you want to go first? Sure. What do I do? Just try and throw the ball in their cups, but just take it easy and try not to have a heart attack. Don't worry about it. My doctor says I have at least another two weeks left. Oh, okay. Here goes nothing, Er. 
What a shot, Joe. Now Donald has to down the beer. Nope, no way. The game is rigged. Read my lips. The game is rigged. So screw your silly game or I will call the cops, believe me. Donald, don't be so ridiculous. You got to drink the beer. Nope, no way. I don't have to do jack. These balls are rigged and the whole thing is a scam. I demand a recount. You what? You heard me, Obama, you numbskull. You got to drink the beer. Donald, those are the rules. Yeah, okay, I guess I'll drink the beer. Oops, I dropped my beer totally on accident. What a shame. What a sore loser. I don't do losing, Tommy, you lazy, dumb idiot. It's my turn, okay? And if you keep complaining, then I will do an all-caps rant on Truth Social and run away. Now shut up and leave me alone, okay? Let's just let him have a go if it'll get him to behave. He's always so dramatic. I wish for once, just one time, he could behave himself like a reasonable, normal person. I am a normal person, Obama, one of the most normalist in America, and maybe even the world now. Watch this. No way I missed this is a setup. I'm being hoaxed. Donald, it's just a game. Let's enjoy it. I was cheated. The wind blew my ball out of the way. I demand to go again or there will be consequences. But we're inside. There is no wind, you maniac. It spun more than the fake news media's coverage of my indictments. It's true. It's true. The game is fair and you're not being cheated. It's the same for everyone, for God's sake. Whatever. I do not care. I want to speak to the manager. I said I want to speak to the manager of this frat party right now, or I'm going to get very angry, believe me. Sir, we're just students. There is no manager. Of course, you'd say that it's all part of this bigly setup. Tommy, I'm sorry about this. Come on, boys. Let's get out of here. Okay, I won't make a big deal about it this time, but mark my words, I'm not happy. Totally normal behavior again from you, Donald. Shut up, Joe. Hey, I'm Casey. What's your name? My name is Donald J. Trump. Oh, cool. And what do your friends call you? Donald J. Trump. Oh, okay. Want to hang out? No, I don't think so. I don't want to waste my time talking to a bonehead like you, to be honest. Now get out of my way. Crikey. Oh, God, the cops are here. The cops are here? Oh, no. I'm going to get expelled and have to go back to Wyoming. Ah. Right. Who's responsible for this party? We have to shut this thing down. Quick, we need to blame it on someone we can't get into trouble. It'll be all over Fox News. Ah, uh, I'm in enough trouble as it is. What shall we do? We should blame the knuckleheads. Who are the knuckleheads? Ha, ha, ha. You and Junior. Hey, 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 that's not very nice, Mr. Obama. Officer, it was all Eric and Junior's idea they arranged this whole thing. No, we didn't, Dad. Dad, I love you. Why are you trying to get us in trouble? You see, officer, my sons have the mind of very dumb and backwards children. It's for the best if you lock them up and throw away the key, to be honest. Right, you two are coming with me. Hey, 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 oh no, we're going to jail. This is going to be so cool, hey, hey, hey. Officer, can we play video games in jail? Yeah, we want to play the Switch. I wonder how long we're going to be in jail for. Hey, 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 I hope it's forever. Then we won't have to go to school, hey, hey, hey. Be quiet, you blockheads. Sorry, hey, hey. I really need to pee. Right, I need everyone else to go home now, or you'll be coming downtown as well. Right, see you later, Dad. Whatever, moron. <laughs> right, folks, please check out another video that is on screen right now. And don't forget to sub if you are new. Now get lost.